integration with Amazon Vendor Central. Amazon, the largest online marketplace in the world, is offering distributors and manufacturers to sell their products online. So when you manufacture and a distributor decide to sell on Amazon, they will use Amazon Vendor Central instead of Amazon Seller Central. Distributors and manufacturers who are selling via Amazon Vendor Central are called first-party sellers. Basically, they're being looked at as a supplier that is selling in bulk to Amazon. In addition, joining the Amazon Vendor Central network is via invitation only. Once you join the Amazon Vendor Central network, you can use their web portal to download orders and create other documents such as invoices and shipments. However, if you have a large number of orders and want to automate your online activity with Amazon Vendor Central, you have to implement EDI. For distributors and manufacturers who are using Amazon Vendor Central, there are a few mandatory EDI documents they need to be aware of. The first document is the incoming purchase orders, which is the EDI 850. Then you have the outgoing EDI 855 purchase order acknowledgement, EDI 810 invoice, EDI 856 advanced ship notice, EDI 860 purchase order change, and the EDI 865 purchase order change acknowledgement, all going back to Amazon Vendor Central. In addition, there are some more optional EDI messages with Amazon Vendor Central that distributors and manufacturers might want to use, such as EDI 753, request for routing instructions, EDI 754, routing instructions, EDI 852, product activity report, EDI 846, inventory inquiry slash advice, and the EDI 820, payment order slash remittance advance. Becoming fully EDI compliant with Amazon Vendor Central is easy because of our experience with their platform. In the past few years, we have done many integration projects with Amazon Vendor Central, and we know the path to successfully complete an EDI integration with Amazon Vendor Central and all its divisions such as retail, warehouse, Amazon Marketplace, and all other Amazon international parties. Lastly, we have the Amazon Dropship Network. In order to integrate with Amazon Dropship, distributors and manufacturers have to use EDI documents such as the inbound EDI 850 for dropship orders and the outgoing EDI 855 purchase order acknowledgement, EDI 856 advanced ship notice, EDI 810 invoice, and EDI 846 inventory update. Visit Amazon.com to learn more about this and all of our EDI services.